Salisbury Tuesday morning. And for the 230,000 white inhabitants of Rhodesia, there was only one question. Would Mr Smith ignore the warnings he'd been given in London? Would he defy the bulk of world opinion and go ahead with his long-awaited unilateral declaration of independence? At 12.20pm, Mr Smith was met by a cloudburst, a golfing umbrella and his wife. The vital question remained up in the air. But Mr Smith got a hero's welcome all the same. There had been talk of second thoughts about UDI, yet the crowd made it clear they'd settle for nothing but UDI. Today, Mr. Smith reported to his cabinet. At the airport yesterday, he gave nothing away. He just thanked the crowd for their welcome and said he was glad to be back in God's own country. Some reports say that Mr. Smith's cabinet will soon declare UDI in principle, but wait a bit before putting it into practice. At the airport, Reginald Bosenkett asked Rhodesians if even now, despite the warnings by Mr. Wilson, they were still in favour of UDI. Certainly always have been. Do you think it will affect you? <laughs> Not at all. Will you stay on in Rhodesia? Certainly. You don't think I'm going to leave Rhodesia, do you? My country. Are you in favour of UDI? I am so much in favour of UDI that it isn't true. We've got to do it. Why do you say that? Because if we don't do it, we shall have a black majority, and that is absolutely impossible. We can't do that. Why, why are you so sure about that? Well, because I've studied the matter for a very, very long time. Thank you very much. <laughs> are you in favour of UDI? Yes, I am. Have you had any second thoughts about it? Yes, I have. On what grounds? On the grounds of um, whether we'd have to really struggle or not. Do you think you will have to? Yes, I do. Do you expect to be affected? Yes, I do. In what way? I think that um, Britain will try and damage our trade. Will you stay on here? Yes, I will. Mr Smith told his fellow settlers yesterday that independence is an even bet by Christmas. Tonight, there's still an impression that he'll let things cool down a bit if his supporters will let him. 